Welcome to MathsMaster.org. Let's learn about angles around a point. Let's start off by having a think about what the point is that we're talking about. When we say angles around a point, what point are we actually talking about? Well, the point is all about where the lines meet. So I've got a couple of diagrams here, and you can see that where the lines meet, I've now put on a blue point. So when we're talking about angles around a point, the point that we're actually talking about is where some lines actually meet each other, where they intersect. So there's the point. Angles around the point look like this. So now I've actually drawn on two angles in the left-hand diagram. And in the right-hand diagram, there are three angles there. But again, these angles are now around that point where the lines meet each other. However, quite often, you won't ever see the actual points drawn on. So although we're talking about angles around a point, quite often you just need to imagine that the points are there where the lines meet each other. The thing about angles around a point that you need to remember is that they always add up to 360 degrees. So if you have some angles around a point, if you add all of those angles up, the sum will always be 360 degrees. Let's have a look at how we can use the angle fact that angles around a point add up to 360 degrees to actually solve an angle's problem. What you can see here is I've got two angles around a point. I've got 240 degrees and an angle x. I've called it x because it's an unknown angle. We don't know the size of it, but we can calculate it using the angle rule that we've just learnt. It's important to remember that with these kinds of angle problems, you don't actually have to draw the diagrams to scale and then measure the size of angle x. You can actually calculate the size of angle x just using the angle rule. Okay, so our angle rule is angles around a point add up to 360 degrees. The angles around the point here are the 240 degrees and the angle x. So if we add those two together, we know that 240 add x must be equal to 360 degrees. So we can write this equation here. Another way of thinking of that, of course, is to say if we started with the 360 degrees and we took 240 degrees away from that, would be left with the size of angle x. So 360 degrees take away 240 is angle x. So x is 360 take 240, which is 120 degrees. So we've calculated the size of angle x using our angle rule. Let's have a look at just one more example now. In this case, I've got one unknown angle, which I'm uh, going to calculate the size of, and that's angle y. There are also another couple of angles there, 150 degrees and 110 degrees. So let's use the fact that angles around a point add up to 360 degrees to calculate what the size of angle y. Well, using that angle fact, we must know that 150 add 110 add y is equal to 360 degrees. Or, of course, another way of thinking of this angle rule is saying if we start with our 360 degrees, we take away the 150, take away the 110, what we'd be left with would be the size of angle y. So angle y is 360, take away 150, take away 110, which leaves us with 100, 100 degrees. Angle y is 100 degrees and we've used our angle fact to calculate that. That was Angles Around a Point. If you want to see some more great maths videos, please visit mathsmaster.org.